really just have to learn how to laugh at yourself. Have a little chuckle at yourself. Love yourself through it. Love yourself through it. Ladies, have a great week. Sending you tons of love. Does anyone have a question? Anyone have their hand raised? Anyone need me right now? We're going to call it a night. Thanks, ladies. So this is how you're going to dialogue. Let me just grab my, my notes, okay? Literally, you're going to grab your dialogue. Okay, wait. Debbie Ford. Healing the split. Just before we finish. Debbie Ford. Why good people do bad things. Healing the split requires us to be firmly rooted in the reality that duality is the central to our very nature. Duality is central to our very nature. We couldn't know light unless we knew darkness. We wouldn't know courage unless we experienced fear. We would never recognize a kind heart had we not encountered a mean one. We would never know hope if we hadn't experienced the devastation of hopelessness. In this world of duality, the way we understand and gain wisdom is through comparison and contrast. So ultimately, this journey is coming of one of coming into balance with these seemingly opposing expressions of our humanity and learning to recognize the early warning signs that alert us when our inner world is out of balance. Does healing the split mean I'm suggesting that you behave in disempowered and inappropriate ways and tell yourself, it's okay, I just love myself. No, that's not what we're doing. It, I'm reminding you that when you allow yourself to fall into fear, shame, and guilt, you begin to contract into your duality instead of expanding into the wholeness of your being. So this week, you're going to get to know yourself. The good, the bad, the ugly. Find out who she is. Find out all the parts of you. Ask her, who are you? You know, some of the questions I put in the emotional edge, I'll read really quickly before we say goodbye. Some of the questions that I suggested that you ask yourself um, might be, okay, here's the journaling. When did I decide to disown you? How old was I? What was happening in my life? Where are you buried? See if you can actually feel the heaviness inside your body. Why am I so afraid of you or your personality or your needs? What emotions do you feel? What are you here to teach me about where I'm neglecting or hurting myself? Where do I need to embody a little more of you in my life? What, of what parts of me are most afraid of you? Why are you so afraid of me becoming my full self? What do I need to do to help you to relax and allow me, the real me, to take care of things? And you might find out that your emotional sub-archetypes, some of them have a lot of anger. Some of them are really sad. Don't deny or avoid them. Don't send them back to the basement. Invite them all up to the kitchen table, to your dining room table, and have a big party with all of them. Let them get to know each other. But first, just get to know them one-on-one. -on -one. And before you know it, you'll start to realize that your, your rescuer can rescue your victim. She doesn't need to rescue anyone else. Your charmer can sit with your Puritan and be like, it's okay, girl, we're getting into heaven. Don't we worry, we're fine. It's okay if my hair is a little blonder than you think it should be. We're still getting into heaven. It's fine. And then your Puritan might be like, oh, I don't know. I'm really worried. Can you please take that dress off? It's too much. And then your charmer will be like, no, it's sexy. We're good. Okay, I know I sound crazy. I just hope you get it. Start writing to yourself. You really will get to know yourself. And it will become so fun. The time that you can spend with yourself, you will never be lonely. When you realize that you have so much going on in there, you will have the best conversations you've ever had with yourself. I actually forget now that I don't just do it writing. Sometimes I'm talking away to myself and I forget that people can see me. <laughs> like I'm literally like talking away and my husband's like, who are you talking to? Me. I'm talking to me and this part of me is talking to this part of me and we're having, oh my God, it's so funny. I laugh, I laugh a lot. Like I kill myself. Like I literally, I'm like, when I think about how much I laugh through the course of a day, out myself. <laughs> it's funny. I find a lot of things really freaking funny and I can just have a good old chuckle about a lot of things. And that's freedom. That's joy. 
is even above love comes joy. Man, when you can truly laugh at yourself, it's freedom. Babies have a great night, sending you tons of love. Oh, my sister, it is time. Stand up.